Welcome to All Mixed Up, a brand new cooking series where we're going to tweak your curiosity as well as your taste buds. I'm your host, Ralph Pagano. I've been a professional chef for over 20 years. I've been in the industry for 30. I've been to Helen back with Gordon Ramsay, Battle Barramundi with Bobby Flay, and I'm known internationally as the pressure cook. Currently, I'm the executive chef of Alba Restaurant located at the Soleil Hotel in Sunny Isles, Florida, where I'm also the food and beverage director. I'm half Italian, half Lebanese, and all American. Being a chef is not something that you choose. It's kind of like a gang. It chooses you, and then you can't get out. I'm excited to be a part of All Mixed Up because I've been through competition. I've got my scars. I've had my battles. I love to see a brand new crop of students coming out who are ready to take the plunge in the industry that I call my own. Each week for three consecutive weeks, we're giving three students from the International Culinary School at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale the chance to be crowned the All Mixed Up champs. Y'all better watch out because I'm coming for you. Hi. Students will have to create and prepare three different dishes. Sure. An appetizer, an entree, and dessert using unique ingredients selected by our esteemed judges. Good luck, everybody. I'm really looking forward to this. Ooh. The winner will receive a cook and bakeware set by AmeriCraft Cookware and a cruise to the Bahamas. But that's not all. Yo, that's awesome. Every contestant will receive a Mia Allegro home appliance set designed to inspire creativity in the kitchen for special gourmet and everyday meal preparation. So let the intensity begin right here on All Mixed Up. So if you're ready... Let's meet our judges. Jenny Harper, Nestle Tollhouse Chief Baking Officer, specializing in consumer recipe research and development. Anthony Mongiello, a.k.a. The Big Cheese, from the Formaggio Cheese Company. Annalisa Dorham, New York-based actress, model, foodie, and the face for Cozy Shack Pudding. But first, we have to meet our contestants. With over 400 applicants to choose from, all mixed up, held our casting call at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. Let's take a look. I'm here because I want to uh, express a point of view. I maybe have a chance to be on TV. I think you guys should choose me because I think I'm very, I'm a pretty outgoing person. I'm pretty friendly. After a long day of casting, and I mean long, the three competing students were selected. Crystal Battle, 21-year-old from Brooklyn, New York. I just might break down some tears. I might get a little, I, I might get offended first. Ashley Gallant, 32 years old, culinary arts student, Key West, Florida. I like to add that flair. I like to add that fire, that, that heat. So my personality is in my food. And 28-year-old Cameron Bevan from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, I mean, I might even throw a pan. Not really, but... <laughs> When we come back, we'll learn more about Ashley, Crystal, and Cameron. And let's not forget our judges. We're going to get this party started and get all mixed up. We're at the International Culinary School at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale with our three culinary students. Cameron, Crystal, Ashley, congratulations on being chosen for that competition. And welcome to the All Mixed Up Kitchen. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. I'm originally from Las Vegas, Nevada. Cooking became a passion for me early on. You know, I had a, I had a rough childhood growing up. Uh, lots, of, lots of setbacks, but, you know, here I am. Currently, right now, I'm sous chef here at Tundra on Las Olas Boulevard. I have to say, I am extremely excited about this, this competition. Um, I, it, it just, it, it blows my mind that I'm even fortunate enough to get this kind of opportunity. You know, I'm a little bit crazy at times, but when it comes down to it, if I need to get down to business, I can. But I'm that guy that you love to hate. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, Best Style 718, what, what? But I moved down here about eight years ago. I loved cooking when I was a young girl. My mom used to make fresh bread all the time in the house. I don't think I really have a favorite dish. I like food, I like to eat, I can see. I am a pastry chef. My specialty is all desserts. So dessert rounds gonna be mine. I'm very confident in what I know I can do. I'm gonna be all mixed up champ because I'm awesome. Do you not see me? I'm the real deal. Right here, the winner. See this face? Winner. Uh, originally I went to school for law enforcement. I was just kind of mulling through things at that point. My girlfriend suggested, hey, why don't you go do what you love to do in the kitchen all, all the time? Cook, go and cook. I've been at the Art Institute now for, for two quarters. 
I work now as a banquet cook for the Hilton Marina in Fort Lauderdale. I think people might root for me because I'm the underdog, as they put it. I'm going to bring my A game and be on top of it. I have that personality that I can either rub you the wrong way or rub you the right way, but it's like you never know which one you're going to get. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to give you the rules of engagement. The judges have supplied some incredible ingredients for you to do your magic with. You're going to be scored on presentation and taste on a five-star scale system. At the end of the day, we're going to tally up the stars, and we're going to get a winner for the day. But in three days, we're going to tally up all the stars, and somebody is going to be named the all-mixed-up champ. Are you ready? Yes, yes, chef. This week, you'll be making appetizers using Nestle Toll House dark chocolate morsels, formaggio cheese, and cozy shack pudding. So if you're ready, let's meet our judges. Hello, students. My name is Anthony Mangello. The Big Cheese. Ah. Nice to meet you. I'm nice the president you. and CEO of Formaggio Cheese. We've been making fresh mozzarella for over 21 years. Today, we continue with that endeavor to bring new products to the supermarket. And one of those products you're going to use today, it's called mozzarella caprese. And that is a combination of fresh mozzarella, tomatoes, fresh basil, and garlic. I have faith in you. I know you can pull this off. Make me proud. Use this product in the right way. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Hi, everyone. I'm Annalisa, and I'm with Cozy Shack Pudding. Cozy Shack was started a little over 45 years ago. We started out as a little neighborhood store in a suburb of New York City. Even though we've grown to be such a big company, all of our products are still made in kettles and with fresh milk. Awesome. Wow. So today, for the appetizers, you're going to be cooking with Cozy Shack Original Rice Pudding, which is my favorite. It's a great snack and it's a great dessert, obviously, but we do want you to get past the dessert-only label. You need to be creative. We want you to be inspired, but you do have to not overpower our pudding in your dishes. The natural taste and texture have to come through. Good luck. Thank you. And I look forward to trying your dishes. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with you today. It's nice to meet you, Jenny. Nice to meet you. Thank well. you, and I love being in a kitchen. Nestle is the world's largest food company, employing over 328,000 people worldwide. The Nestle Toll House brand is all about creating warm memories through baking and cooking with the very best chocolate. Today, you'll be cooking with our Nestle Toll House dark chocolate morsels, Anyway, I look forward to tasting your creations. Good luck. Thank you so Thank much. You magic. The stage is now set for all mixed up. When we come back, these students will embark on their first challenge, the appetizer. Okay, here's the skinny. You're starting with your first appetizer, which includes Nestle Toll House dark chocolate morsels. Anything in the kitchen is up for grabs and good for you to use. You've got 30 minutes to make your appetizer. Time starts now. Move. So I'm making my Nestle's uh, dark chocolate morsels appetizer. And everything is going good. I decided to make a salad, you know, keep it light and fresh. Uh -huh. Sure. Here I am making a... Uh chocolate hoisin wings, uh, specialty little sauce. Really have no idea where I'm going with it besides I'm using a little bit of hoisin, maybe some kind of acid and, um, and chocolate. I'm making the chocolate appetizer. I'm not a sweets person as, and I'm not the, the greatest person with sweets. Excuse me behind, sorry. The biggest challenge I'm facing is that I forgot lettuce for my salad. How can I make a salad without lettuce? It wouldn't have been a salad with chocolate in the plate. Ah, it's too hot! Cameron, what have you made for us today? Right here we have uh, basically a chocolate and hoisin uh, wings appetizer. So I'm walking in and I deliver the plate to the judges and I mean the reaction seems pretty decent. Hey, let's let's see where this goes. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's really good. 
I can taste the the chocolate in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, what kind that of chocolate? The dark chocolate morsels. Today I made a chocolate salad. I can't really identify mm -hmm. what's in there. I mean, the chocolate is very good. Yep. It all goes together very well. You wouldn't think it. You know what's funny? I don't I've think never I've... eaten anything like this before. No. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Tell us about your appetizer. Well, I did a duck um, sautéed in um, some ginger, some garlic, onion, and then I made it into a spring roll. Please, enjoy. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing in my chocolate appetizer, and I'm thinking they're going to freak out. Mm -hmm. I taste some strong cilantro. Mm -hmm. I like I the ginger the flavor as well. The dip is mm -hmm. excellent. Dip. For me, a son of a real true chef. Okay, so the first appetizer is done. How do you think you did? Awesome. Ash? Ah, I had a few snags, Cam. I'm going to the Bahamas. All right, I like the, uh, I like the attitude. Okay, now that you got the first one done, now it's time to slide into the second appetizer. You're into my sweet spot right now. You're going to be using formaggio mozzarella caprese. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, chef. Okay, get, the, get yourself set. All right, Chef. Uh-huh. Time starts now. Chef, you always my way. Out of my way. Ashley, that pepper shot looks like me. I'm cooking it with the sun-dried tomatoes, and I'm making it in a lumpia appetizer. My next appetizer, I'm using formaggio cheese, and I decided to make eggplant sliders. So I'm making a, a fried, fried mozzarella with a watercress salad and sun-dried tomato vinaigrette. I thought it was explosively flavorful. Aaron, you have your own stuff. Why are you touching my stuff? So I'm like five foot nothing, and I got like little stubby arms like a little dinosaur. So I got this tall essential bar over my head. I had to literally climb on and leap like Michael Jordan. I got a doke. I got I'm cool like that. I got skills. <sighs> so Ashley's making spring rolls and <laughs> and Crystal's making dessert. What'd you say? You keep talking, camera, but I don't see any metal going on your neck yet. <laughs> Egg rolls again? Let's be original here. Come on. Ashley, tell us all about your appetizer. Well, this one was, it's similar to the previous ones, and it's, again, another, uh, I guess you could say a spring roll. Please enjoy. I'm bringing my dish into the judges, and I'm looking at them, and they're looking at my presentation, and they're all going, wow. Wow. Mm. Wow. Great hit of sun-dried tomatoes and all the herbs. You put extra basil, which yep. is really cool. Yep. Well, right now I have uh, your tomato basil sauce uh, vinaigrette. Also, I have uh, your fried mozzarella along with um, balsamic reduction and uh, watercress. I take the salad into the judge's room. The challenge that I'm facing is uh, they're not spring rolls. It's very crunchy. I, it's crunchy. But you know what I taste? A lot of oil. I taste a lot of oil, too. My lips are coated with it. I kind of feel like, too, there's maybe some citrus is needed. But I can't get over the oil. So today I made a few eggplant slider. I made a pesto with basil, pine nuts, olive oil, uh, the caprese. Mix it in. Hope you guys enjoy, okay? Sounds great. Thank, Thank you. you. Very unexpected flavor yeah. profile with the raspberry. Yeah. That's but a nice surprise. Very good, it is. Yeah, it's a it's, good surprise. It's fresh. All right, two rounds down, one to go. How do you think you did? Splendid. Amazing. Good. Okay, well, you know the drill. I'm going to give you 30 more minutes. You're going to have to create yet another unique dish using this time the Cozy Shack original rice pudding. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, of course. sir. Man your stations. Time starts now. Woo! So with the Cozy Shack pudding, you know, I, I kind of got a good little idea in my head. Yeah, they're, they're tempura battered with champagne as, as the liquid, so it's, it's like a beignet. And I'm feeling really confident about this dish. You know, jicama slaw, there's sweet chili, amaretto, all that good stuff. It's really turning out well. I'm making my Cozy Shack appetizer, and I decided to do rice cakes. 
I am using split pea flour, split pea, can never say that right, uh, flour to make my rice cakes. And also I decided to sear, uh, do a coconut chutney and a seared scallop on top. So my presentation, I wanted to be flawless, absolutely exquisite. I'm making the cozy shack, but I'm taking a huge risk because I'm highly allergic to crustaceans. I gotta do this, but it's so hot in the kitchen and I'm like, I'm drenched from head to toe. And I'm like, I'm trying to get on gloves and I can't. Today I made for you a rice cake and then I also seared a scallop for on top. So I hope you guys enjoy. I really like that. Mm. It's really refreshing. Mm -hmm. The judges are shocked and hopefully pleased with what I had to bring them. But I think that texture comes from the rice pudding. Yeah. Yeah. I dig the scallop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I have a rice pudding and jicama stuffed king prawns, uh, tempura battered. Also, I have a jicama slaw with a little bit of the uh, rice pudding as well, and um, an amaretto sweet chili glaze. No, I actually like that heat. Yeah, Do you? I really like it. Oh, it's it. perfect. I appreciate heat. I think the shrimp is cooked perfectly yep. as well. Wow. The slaw is delicious. It's got some heat, mm -hmm. but I'm, I like heat. Mm -hmm. Today I did for you a Cozy Shack um, crab cake. Um, it has Dungeness crab as the Cozy Shack. Um, not once, but twice, it has the Cozy Shack in the crab cake and in the sauce. I hope you all enjoy it. I couldn't try it because I actually have an allergy. I'm highly allergic to crustaceans, all crustaceans. You don't get the texture of the rice, but you do get the creaminess mm -hmm. of the pudding. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, I do too. One thing I'd like to taste more of is the sauce. I wish there was more sauce A little more plate. sauce. Yeah, that was... When we come back, we'll check in with our judges and find out which culinary student made the best appetizers. Cameron, from a Nestle Toll House perspective, you really delivered on that chocolate sauce. I mean, I really got the dark chocolate. It was wonderful. Your chicken was really tender. It was perfect. Crystal, I applaud you on your choice of a salad and combining that with our dark chocolate. And I really love the fact that you had a nice drizzle on the top of it. Very creative. Your pesto that went along with it, I felt was just a little bit weak. Ashley, I mean, you showcased our Nestle Toll House dark chocolate beautifully. Mixed in with your filling, as well as the dish of the chocolate sauce there, wonderful. Okay, so for your Cozy Shack rice pudding dishes, I was amazed. Cameron, I'm gonna start with you. I loved your dish, and as you know, I was not really not sure about your dish yeah, at all. Uh, you really surprised me. I thought the presentation was beautiful. It did a great job. It looked very enticing. Crystal. Hello. You knocked it out of the ballpark with this one. It, it was amazing. So Ooh. I was really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> really impressed. <laughs> You really stayed true to the rice pudding. Very, very well done. So, Ashley, I loved your crab cake. I'm a fan of crab cakes. The only thing is it could have used more sauce. Cameron, I, I, I was uh, a little taken back. I, I got a lot of oil. The mushroom thing, honestly, for me, I didn't actually get it. I liked the eggplant. I felt it was tender. I didn't get, though, the sun-dried tomato again. The mozzarella came out. I was thinking a spring roll again, but it was hot, and you did a great job. Well, the competition was certainly fever-pitched, and we had a hell of a show. Two competitors were separated by one star. Cameron came to the table with 64 gold stars, but Crystal came in one better with 65. But you know what? It wasn't enough. Ashley came out of left field and scored 86 total gold stars, moving into the entree round in the lead. But there's still plenty of race left. Tune in next time to see who wins this all and who's going to be crowned the All Mixed Up Champion. I'm Ralph Pagano. See you next time.